In about a month and a half time, South Korea will play host to the 2018 Winter Olympics. Support in preparing for the global games came from all corners of the nation, including the president himself. He rolled up his sleeves to join in the efforts. Moon Gun Young starts us off with the top level promotional efforts. Lunch with billionaire investor Warren Buffett cost 2.7 million US dollars this year. Last year, 3.5 million. How about a lunch with one of the most popular sitting presidents in the world today? Under 200 bucks for sure, in the form of a ticket to the 2018 Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games, now less than two months away. The venue? The presidential bullet rail car, or South Korea's high speed car number one, covering the 277 kilometer distance between the Incheon International Airport to the eastern end of the Olympic cluster in less than two hours, revealed to the public for the very first time. 20 randomly selected citizens who enter the Hello Pyeongchang contest by posting creative photos as proof of ticket purchase were given the chance to lunch with the South Korean President Moon Jae-in as he took his car number one for a maiden ride to the venue of the Pyeongchang Games. This middle school teacher won a seat for this photo, writing the word Pyeongchang with 180 of his students each holding a ticket to an ice hockey event at the 2018 Games. I'm sure it will be one of the most memorable events in life for myself and my students. My students and I will grow together to help the Republic of Korea stand tall. The South Korean president did not forget to ask for public support. South Korea is bidding big on the success of the 2018 Winter Olympic Games, not only for the sporting event itself, but to use this opportunity to create a momentum for easing tensions in Northeast Asia. An Olympics for peace, they call it, by continuously encouraging North Korea to participate in what will be the first of three back-to-back -back Olympic events to be hosted in this part of the world. <laughs> Moon Gonyo, Arirang News.